Okay. So the cytoplasm is fluid which is present inside the cell. Now what is present inside the cytoplasm? Several salts are present. Several proteins are present. Several enzymes are present. Enzymes are nothing but they are type of proteins which are involved in several various chemical reactions. Okay. Next. Along with this, the cytoplasm contains very important parts. What are they? Is cell organelles. Cell organelles. Okay. So, various cell organelles are present inside the cytoplasm. If you see like mitochondria, I will write the names of the cell organelles. Mitochondria. Golgi complex, vacuoles, plastics, nucleus, ribosomes. Next, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, okay, these are the various cell organelles present inside the cell, that is inside the cytoplasm. So, this is our cell. The cell has a fluid called cytoplasm. So this is our cytoplasm. And this is our cell membrane. This is our cell. Okay. So inside the cytoplasm, you have various cell organelles. So nucleus is present. Endoplasmic reticulum is present. Golgi complex is present. Golgi complex is present, mitochondria is present, several ribosomes are present. So inside the cell cytoplasm, several cell organelles are present. So this is why cytoplasm is very important to study. So we for so where is the position of the cell organelles in the cytoplasm? So cytoplasm is a fluid which consists of several salts, proteins, enzymes and the most important is all the cell organelles are present inside the cytoplasm. Now if you see the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. So we have already discussed what is prokaryotic cell and what is eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells are simple cells. Huh? In which the nucleus or in which the genetic material is not organized in a well defined way. So if you see the prokaryotic cell. So the cell also contains same cytoplasm and the genetic material is present somewhere in the cytoplasm. It has no definite shape or definite organ. But if you see the eukaryotic cell if you see the eukaryotic cell you have the genetic you have the cytoplasm and in this the nucleus has a particular cell organelle is present in which our genetic material is present so it has the eukaryotic cell has well defined nucleus in prokaryotic cells you don't have well defined so genetic material is in the loose form so that's why it is called as prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell has well defined nucleus. If you see the prokaryotic cell, various cell organelles are absent. So these all the cell organelles only except the ribosomes, most of the cell organelles are absent in the prokaryotic cell. But if you see the eukaryotic cell, all the cell organelles are present because it is a complex cell and it is very simple cell. So except ribosomes and nucleus, yeah nucleus is definitely present in every cell means the loose form. 
not exactly the nucleus the genetic material is present in every cell it may be prokaryote or eukaryote in eukaryotes it is in the in the nucleus and it is in the loose form in the prokaryotes so like golgi complex vacuoles plastids all these are absent in the prokaryote cells only the ribosomes are present in the prokaryote cells and all other cell organelles are absent in the prokaryotic cells okay now first cytoplasm is all was also called as protoplasm earlier in earlier earlier cytoplasm was also called as protoplasm cytoplasm was also called as protoplasm earlier cytoplasm was also called as protoplasm why because earlier the people used to think that the fluid present in the cell was the essence of the life earlier people used to think that the fluid the fluid what is the fluid present in the cell that is nothing but cytoplasm the fluid present in the cell was essence of life was considered as essence of life means life existed life because because of fluid in the cell the life was present earlier people used to think that the fluid which is present in the inside the cell was responsible for a presence of life so they were call they were calling cytoplasm as protoplasm okay now after discovery of nucleus and various cell organelles they found that nucleus also contains some fluid which is different from the fluid which is present outside the nucleus okay so after the discovery of nucleus robert brown discovered the nucleus so after the nucleus discovery they found that nucleus also contains fluid inside fluid inside it okay also contains fluid inside it and it was and this fluid is different from the fluid outside the nucleus and the fluid the fluid outside the nucleus was different was different when compared to fluid inside the nucleus fluid inside the nucleus okay so the fluid which is present inside the nucleus was different from the fluid present outside the nucleus so the scientists started working on this so they found that the life the essence of life was not in the cytoplasm or was not in the protoplasm but the life exists due to several reactions taking place inside the cell organelles which are present in the cytoplasm so they told that scientists told that life or the essence of life is due to cell organelles which are present in the cytoplasm but not due to the cytoplasm so various reactions are taking place in these cell organelles and they are uh, making the life to exist but not the cytoplasm cytoplasm is only carrying these cell organelles so they found out that nucleus contains some fluid which is different from the fluid outside it so they named that fluid the new, the outside fluid so now we will see the functions of the cytoplasm so what are the main functions of the cytoplasm as we told that cytoplasm is fluid like structure so fluid means it contains mostly water so it maintains the ph of the cell so every cell's ph is maintained due to cytoplasm and cell organelles also but the main role is played by the cytoplasm it maintains the ph of the cell next transportation of mediums for various cell organelles 
So, cytoplasm acts as transporting medium. For suppose, if a mitochondria needs some protein to synthesize it some part. So, it is somewhere near the endoplasm. Uh, suppose mitochondria needs a protein from endoplasmic reticulum. It can't go to endoplasmic reticulum and bring that protein. So, it sends some signals to cytoplasm and cytoplasm will go to the and cytoplasm will take the protein from the endoplasmic reticulum and transport it to the mitochondria so it acts as a transporting medium because it is made up of mostly water so it acts as transporting medium between cell, between the cell organelles and it imbibes various cell organelles inside it so various cell organelles are present inside the cytoplasm so these three are the main functions of the Cytoplasm, pH of the cell, transporting medium of various, in between the various cell organelles and it imbibes various cell organelles inside it. Thank you.